In fact, the Texas Division of Emergency Management has activated state emergency response resources in anticipation of critical fire weather conditions. The alert is for the western half of the state today through the weekend, and Skyler Soto tells us how local fire officials are preparing. Fire concerns are not new. Brush and high winds create the perfect opportunity for any fire to grow, which is why we have warnings in place across our area. Now, in the case that a fire does spark, Sunland Park and other departments have this special tool to help fight it. The Southwest region has been in a drought for years. We are constantly at alert. Daniel Medrano, fire chief of Sunland Park Fire, says winds play a big role in turning a little fire into an out of control blaze. A recent example of that is the Smokehouse Creek fire that broke out in the Panhandle. It was the largest fire to ever burn across Texas, burning more than a million acres. Wind played a huge factor in spreading those flames, but while these types of situations are unpredictable, Medrano says his team and many others in our area are prepared for just about anything. We constantly have our vehicles uh, maintained and our uh, crews trained up in case of a uh, wildfire. A part of the preparedness is one vehicle that goes beyond the usual fleet you might see passing you by on the street. It's a pickup truck, yes, but it's a huge pickup truck. Medrano says the brush truck is more accessible to grass fires, helping those who might get lost in the desert and even house fires. I carry 400 gallons of water on this uh, truck, limited amount of hose, but we can operate this vehicle with one firefighter. Um, it has a joystick in the middle, operate the turret, um, uh, shoot water from the front, out from the sides and the back. So um, we can actually pump and roll. Uh, we can be going over a grass fire or a bosque fire, um, just driving and extinguishing that fire. Something he says makes a difference when seconds count. Medrano says the one thing that you should avoid doing right now is obvious. Don't burn anything outside as it'll keep you and your neighbors safe. Reporting in Sunland Park, New Mexico, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.